Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're ready to look at the state matrix in two dimensions. With other words, an object that is moving both in the x and the y direction. Here we have the state matrix defined in the x and the y direction, position in the x direction, position in the y direction, velocity in the x direction, velocity in the y direction. To show you that you can have it actually differently, here we have another state matrix where we have position in the x direction, velocity in the x direction, position in the y direction, velocity in the y direction. The corresponding A matrices that are necessary so we can convert from one state into the next state time-wise going from the one interval to the next time interval. The A matrix will look like this if we have the state matrix expressed in that format and the A matrix will look like this if we have the, the uh, state matrix expressed in this format. Again, personally, I like this format better, but I've seen this format used by other people, and so whatever you like, there you have the, both of the examples. And there's a reason why I show you both examples. It's because I want you to see that there's nothing magical about the A, A matrix. It's simply required in a certain format so they can multiply the A matrix by the state matrix and get the resulting product back in the correct format for the state matrix of the next time period. Remember that delta t is simply the time for a, a single cycle. Here, let's go ahead and multiply the two matrices together to see what we get. In the first case, and just to see what the final result lo should look like, size-wise, we're multiplying a 4x4 four four matrix with a 4x1 matrix. The inner numbers are the same, which means the multiplication is legal, and the outer numbers indicate the size of the resulting product. We're going to end up with a 4 by 1 matrix, which is what we're expecting, because we want to have the updated state matrix when we do the multiplication. Here we get x plus 0 plus delta t times x dot times plus 0. So the first element becomes x plus 0 plus delta t times x dot, which is the velocity in the x direction, plus 0, which means the x position is going to be updated by taking the previous position plus the change in the position due to the velocity in the x direction. The next element, 0 plus y, 0 plus y, plus 0, plus, here we go, this times this, plus this, plus this, that would be plus delta t times y dot. The new position in the y direction will give you the original position, the previous position, plus the change in the position due to the velocity in the y direction. The third element, we get 0 plus 0 plus x dot plus 0. 0 plus 0 plus x dot plus 0, which means that the new velocity is exactly the same as the previous velocity, because the velocity can only be changed if there's acceleration, and that's not, not part of this matrix multiplication. The final element, we get 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 times y dot, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus y dot. If you write this in a simplified format, you get the following matrix. You get x plus delta t x dot, y plus delta t y dot, x dot, and y dot. In other words, you get the new position in the x direction, the new position in the y direction, the new velocity in the, new, in the x direction, new velocity in the y direction, which, by the way, is exactly the same as the previous velocity because the, the acceleration calculation will come from doing this product that we'll have to do in the next video. To see that you get the exact same result when you have this particular matrix multiplication, this will become as follows. 1 times this plus delta t times this. That's x plus delta t x dot plus 0 plus 0 for the first element. The second element, you get 0 plus 1 times this plus 0 plus 0. 0 plus x dot plus 0 plus 0. The next multiplication, 0 plus 0 plus 1 times this plus delta t times this. 0 plus 0 plus y plus delta t times y dot. And finally, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus y dot. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus y dot. 
And simplified, this looks like x plus delta t x dot x dot y plus delta t y dot and y dot. And notice you get the state matrix in the exact same format as you started with. Position in the x direction, adjusted for the velocity. Velocity in the x direction, position in the y direction, adjusted for velocity in the y direction, and velocity in the y direction, exact same format. And that's why the A matrix must be in this format when we have the state matrix in this format, and the A matrix must be in this format if we have the state matrix in that format. And again, this is for a two-dimensional problem, position and motion in the x and the y direction, position and motion in the x and the y direction. And that's how we do that. In the next video, we're going to take a look at this multiplication and see how we deal with that in, the, um, in two dimensions. Remember again, this is the effect due to gravity. And in a two-dimensional state, it'll be both in the x and the y direction. And we'll see how that works for that particular example.